Let us solve for y in this expression 16 to the power of y plus 20 to the power of y equal to 25 to the power of y. Now, to solve for the power, power of uh, for the value of y, we have to reduce these values to their various factors. And uh, to do that, let's see if we can divide all through by the uh, power by uh, 25 to the power of y. Now, if we do that, we will be making a headway to dividing all this. So we'll have 16 to the power of y divided by 25 to the power of y plus 20 to the power of y divided by 25 to the power of y. And this will be equal to 25 to the power of y divided by 25 to the power of y. So having done that, we are going to see how we reduce this further. Now remember that the right hand side is going to give us 1. Right, so this is going to give us 16 divided by 25 all to the power of y plus this part is going to give us 20 divided by 25 all to the power of y and this will be equal to 1. So this can simply, uh, uh, we can simplify easier now. Now to simplify, remember 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16 and 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 25. So all will be to the power of y plus this can reduce because uh, 5 can divide 20 to give us 4, right? And 5 can divide 25 to give us 5. So we we'll reduce that all to the power of y and this will be equal to 1. So let's simplify for that according to the law of indices this will give us uh, 4 divided by 5 all square and all of these will be to the power of y plus this is going to give us 4 divided by 5 all to the power of y and this will be equal to 1. From here, let's apply one law of indices to this value. We'll apply that law of indices. Remember, a to the power of x multiplied by the power of y can be equal to a to the power of y or multiplied by the power of x. So if we apply that over here, this expression will now give us, this will now give us four divided by five to the power of y all to the power of what of square plus this will give us 4 divided by 5 all to the power of y and this will be equal to 1 so let's simplify this now to simplify this let us let the value of 4 divided by 5 to the power of y to be equal to x so uh, if that is that, then the value of 4 divided by 5 all to the power of y squared will be equal to x squared. So if we apply that to that expression, that expression will now give us x squared plus x and that will be equal to 1. Now, if we form that to become a, a, a quadratic equation, this will now give us x squared plus x and subtracting 1 from both sides, this will be equal to 0. So that has given us a quadratic equation. Now to solve this quadratic equation, let's look at using the quadratic formula to find the value of x. And the quadratic formula will be minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from that our expression, we should know that our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to 1, 
and then uh, c is equal to negative one so if we substitute that into that expression the quadratic expression the value of x will now be equal to minus one plus or minus square root of one square minus four multiplied by one multiplied by negative one right and this will be divided by two times one will be equal to two so let's simplify this the value of x will now be equal to negative one plus or minus square root of one minus times minus will give us plus four right and this will be divided by two so a value of x will now be equal to negative one plus or minus square root of five divided by two and a value of x will now give us our x will now be equal to negative one plus square root of five divided by two or we can have that to be negative one minus the square root of five divided by two so this expression can finally make our x to be equal to root five minus one right divided by two we didn't change anything or it can be negative one minus root five divided by two now recall that we made uh, 1 divided by 4 to the power of y to be equal to x. And we are meant to find the value of y. So if 1 to the power 1 divided by 4 divided by 5 to the power of y is equal to x, so that will be equal to square root of 5 minus 1 on this side divided by 2, or it can be equal to... 4 divided by 5 all to the power of y can be equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's concentrate on this other side. For every value of y, be it y negative or positive, this value will be equal to, uh, will give us a positive value. Why this other left hand side it will always give us a negative value and if you come to see it positive is never equal to uh, negative in mathematics as a result of that we are going to neglect this expression and then we'll work with this expression now to simplify this expression we are going to have this expression uh, to get the value of y now to simplify this expression, we are simply going to take the log of both sides. So if we take the log of both sides, we're going to have the log of 4 divided by uh, 5y to be equal to the log of square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. So according to the law of indices, this will come over here. So we'll have our y log of 4 divided by y, 5, and that will be equal to log of square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2. So we we'll simplify this by dividing both sides by the log of 4 divided by 5. We'll have our y to be equal to log of square root of 5 minus 1 divided by 2 all divided by log of 4 divided by 5. Now according to the law of logarithm, if you have the log of a divided by b log of a divided by b will give us the log of a minus log of b and that's the division law of logarithm so if we apply that over here 
we are going to have this expression uh, to be equal to this expression will now give us the value of our y will be equal to the log of square root of 5 minus 1 right minus the log of 2 divided by log of 4 minus the log of 5. Now the log of 4 can simply be simplified to give us a y will be equal to log of square root of 5 minus 1 minus log of 2 divided by 2 log of 2 right and this will be minus log of 5 so if we simplify this expression we are going to find the value of y now i want to give you a great tax and that tax is simplify this expression and let us know what your value for y will be your value for y is what drop that in the comment section and we will be ready to engage with you from there don't forget to give this video a like and also kindly subscribe to our channel in order to uh, see our subsequent content in mathematics thanks so much for watching and bye bye for now